Greetings, my unique Pisces. Uh, this is Soul, uh, Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a general weekly focus uh, for all of my unique Pisces for the week of October 6th through the 13th, 2015. Before I begin your reading, I want to thank my new subscribers and also express the gratitude and the appreciation of all the support and love that I have been receiving from my channel and the work that I am doing. Uh, since I started this work in this channel um, so I do want to um, offer my gratitude feeling truly blessed and uh, appreciate it thank you so much uh, if there is anyone who is interested in the reading uh, from me or interested in knowing uh, which deck I am using just please uh, expand the show more underneath the video let's get right into this reading for uh, all of my unique Pisces for the week of October 6th to the 13th 2015 okay so the energy that you have going into October uh, 6th this upcoming week you have the world card which is a major arcana and it's in the upright uh, major Arcanas to me uh, equals major life events. So I feel that for some of the Pisceans that I'm reading for, and uh, do please keep in mind that um, these messages will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. With the World card in the upright position for uh, Pisces this week, I feel that there's, you know, the world is all about opportunities, new opportunities um, that are going to be potentially presented to you in terms of you know work love uh maybe possibly expansion uh in a family or something like that whatever it is uh this particular week uh is a good week to experience that some sort of new opportunity uh, is going to be presented to you and like i said before it could be related to work love some of the pisces um who are single may have the opportunity to meet someone new uh, this particular week and I think that uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be you could be coupled uh, some of these messages that I get you know I, I feel that there are Pisces in um, loving secured and grounded relationships or so these messages don't apply to you the ones that I'm speaking of are the ones who are possibly looking to uh, reconnect or connect with someone new uh, there the possible excuse me the possibilities are out there and the world card always says that the possibilities are endless so take advantage of that energy I just feel a, a newness coming uh, and it could be just if you already established in a relationship or dating someone uh, an opportunity to renew uh, the existing relationship but there's some sort of newness coming out of there but it's going to be an opportunity presented to you uh, also in the recent past uh, we have the eight of Pentacles uh, recent past for me is yesterday and I'm going back to the month um, as far as a month because in a general love reading I usually go back to, depending on if it's the recent or distant uh, this is the recent so I'm going back yesterday to about a month in this particular reading we have the eight of Pentacles in the uh, upright eight of Pentacles uh, in the upright is a good card uh, I feel that some of the energy for the Pisces that I speak of you were at least feel and I'm feeling this energy as well now uh, even though it is in the um, recent past that some of you are feeling stable and feeling grounded and secure not only within your uh, work or career uh, segment but you're also feeling secure and um, stable in a, a relationship this relationship that I'm picking up strongly the ones that I'm speaking of could involve you know an earth sign Capricorn Virgo or Taurus individual male or female uh, some st stability was gained I feel that there was either uh, for some of you uh, work wise may have received a you know a possible promotion or a pay raise or some sort of lateral move uh, into a better position that um, is paying higher dividends I just see that there's some sort of stability and security within the work environment um, in the recent past and also that stability and, and secure security um, within terms of a relationship or someone that you just started dating um, possibly a 
and our sun, like I said, Capricorn, Virgo, or Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus individual, male or female. Going into the middle of the week, we have the three of, I'm sorry, we have the Empress. So this is another major arcana. And always associate major arcanas with major life events. So you got two major arcanas in this mini read for the weekly. This Empress uh, in the reverse is uh, you know not necessarily a bad card but then some of you may feel like you're out of balance because the uh empress is all about balance and and being um creative and passionate um so you may feel less that way going into the middle of the week uh that you're out of balance um not feeling like really you know passionate or anything like that or um some sort of growth or expansion is going to be sort of delayed however it relates to you or whatever the situation that you got going on during this week this is the message that I'm, I'm putting out there to you some sort of setback or delay with growth and expansion and also too I feel because the Empress um, is also too about fertility so I'm, I'm thinking that maybe for some of the Piscean females who were hoping to um, become pregnant uh, may have found out that they didn't or the expectation wasn't met or something to do with the pregnancy or if you are currently pregnant there might be some minor issues going on uh, in your first trimester okay that's a message that i got uh, i don't feel there's a you know if there is a situation where some of the females are pregnant and they're having difficulty and it's it's just to get getting over that that hump that first trimester i think um and then afterwards everything will be okay but i do feel that there was either an expectation of a pregnancy that didn't occur or there's some females out there that I feel who are pregnant and having difficulty in their first trimester okay nothing serious that I'm picking up so um, I don't want to spend too much energy on that <clears throat> and also too um, has something to do with growth and expansion um, being delayed something to do with that being delayed also last card up for you in the outcome card we have the five of wands the five of wands is always about you know some sort of either mental conflict or uh you know battles with um you know brought on by others or stuff that you're dealing with internally so um be careful at the end of the week and trying to you know if you can avoid people who are trying to you know pick a fight with you um whatever the situation is it could be in a relationship it could be you know a friend it could be a you know a co-worker somebody in the family just be mindful of that and i'm picking up strongly a fire sign energy of course with the wands um aries leo or sagittarius male or female uh, but i see if there is a situation that's going on it's only going to be minor minor conflicts um that you will overcome and it will not uh sort of like mess the entire week up because you have that world card that trumps it uh that's your overall energy so it's all about new opportunities and and um i just feel that for some of you is some sort of you know minor setback or delay in some sort of growth or expansion so it could be a project could be you know the expectation of a pregnancy that didn't occur uh i just feel that for the females who may be pregnant having difficulty in their first trimester but nothing serious uh but it's not really a bad week uh for some of the uh, messages that i'm getting to pass on to you okay so the fairy oracle card that i have chosen for you is uh stardust and it's a pretty card uh premonition galactic communications beginnings and endings so beginnings and endings 
the world card brings on new opportunities and just because the new opportunities the new opportunities might involve an ending of an old situation so keep that in mind so even though it's a positive uh, major arcana to get and energy wise for you some of you i feel uh because i don't recall like i said for the other signs that i just read for that i don't remember what i said last week nor do i remember what i did for you for the general uh, love reading for october so even though the world presents new opportunities and you know basically you have the you know the world at your feet <laughs> it, it could go both ways it could mean that you know these for any new opportunity to come your way you may have to deal with an old situation or a releasing of an old situation it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be anything uh that may you know be stagnating you or you know keeping you from um moving forward uh, and I think that's why the three, I am keep wanting to say three, it's not. It's the empress that is in the reverse when I felt that there was some sort of stagnation with growth and expansion for some of you, uh, possibly related to a pregnancy or some sort of project or a, another situation. And it could be just a stagnation if it is a relationship that is not moving forward or progressing the way that you want it to. So keep that in mind. That's another message. Okay, so that's what I have for uh, all of my unique Pisceans for the week of uh, October 6th to the 13th. Uh, once again, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. I do want to wish you all a very safe and very blessed week ahead. Um, until the next time, uh, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.